Good morning this Tuesday, the 18th of July. I'm Grady Wall for Market Analyst with Bell Direct. US equities closed higher on Monday as investor sentiment remains boosted by favourable inflation data released last week in the US, alongside some strong second quarter results at the start of earnings season so far. The Dow Jones closed higher for a sixth straight session, adding 0.22% at the closing bell on Monday, while the S&P 500 rose 0.39% and the tech-heavy Nasdaq added 0.93%, boosted by Apple and Tesla rising 1.7% and 3.2% respectively. Respectively. While Wall Street is expecting a gloomy reporting season this season, the risk of recession is easing, as predicted by Goldman Sachs and a number of economists. Given recent data out in the US, reinforced confidence that the Fed's aggressive rate hikes will be able to cool inflation without plunging the US into a recession. Over in Europe, markets closed lower on Monday following the release of China's GDP data coming in at growth of 6.3% for Q2, which fell short of economists' expectations and provides a further sign of the weak post-pandemic recovery out of the world's second largest economy. Earnings season in Europe also ramps up this week with Novartis and Ocado releasing results this week. The stock 600 fell 0.6% on Monday, while Germany's DAX fell 0.23%, the French CAC lost 1.12% and in the UK the FTSE 100 fell 0.38%. Locally yesterday, the ASX started the week in negative territory, down just 0.06% at the closing bell, weighed down by a sharp sell-off in energy stocks, which was slightly offset by a 0.88% rise for the technology sector. Energy stocks were likely sold off amid China's GDP data coming in weaker than expected, which contributed to a 1.75% decline in the price of oil to trade at 74 US dollars and 10 cents a barrel. Talking about commodities, oil remains at 74 US dollars and 10 cents a barrel this morning. Coal is up 2.85% at 131 US dollars and 65 cents a ton. Gold is up just 0.01% at 1955 US dollars an ounce, and iron ore is up 4% at 117 US dollars a ton. Ahead of the local trading session here in Australia, the SPY futures are anticipating the local index to open Tuesday's session down 0.28%. On the economic calendar today, we may see the local markets move following the release of the RBA's meeting minutes this morning, pending how investors interpret the outlook for coming months of rate decisions. US retail sales data for June is also out this evening, with consensus expecting a 0.5% rise for the month, which would provide another sign that the US economy remains resilient despite rising interest interest rates. One Aussie dollar is buying 68 US cents, 94.56 Japanese yen, 52.1 British pence and one New Zealand dollar and eight cents. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Bell Potter has increased the price target on Neuron Pharmaceuticals from $16.50 to $17 and maintained a buy rating on the pharmaceuticals company following the release of Neuron's US partner Arcadia Pharmaceuticals Q2 sales of Debut, which is Neuron's trifenotide drug in the US. The report came in at sales of $21 million US dollars to $23 million US dollars and provided guidance for Q3 of $45 million US dollars to $55 million US dollars, a significant significant beat of analysts' expectations. The increase in the price target is also on the back of Arcadia Pharmaceuticals strengthening its license agreement with Neuron to a global scale, not just in the US, moving forward. And Bell Potter has increased the price target on Drone Shield from $0.40 cents per share to $0.45 cents per share and maintain a buy rating on the defence technology company following the announcement of Drone Shield yesterday that it has won a record $33 million US dollar contract with the US. US government for drone shield equipment and multi-year services subscriptions. And that's all we have time for this morning. Have a wonderful Tuesday and as always, happy investing.